So I want to briefly talk about the three phases that you'll find in the Lightning Experience Transition Assistant. And this is a tool that helps you to transition from Salesforce Classic over to Lightning Experience. There's th three distinct phases. The initial discover phase, the second is the rollout phase, and the third and final is the optimize phase. So you can go to the individual steps for each of these three phases. In the discovery phase, You've got several different things you can do here as far as learning about Salesforce Lightning. They've got links to videos and community that you can join as well. You can check on the readiness of your org for Lightning experience. You can register for sessions for expert coaching and more. And then you get into step three here, planning your rollout, choosing a strategy. That's a video you can watch. And then define a change management strategy via an app that you could open and then aligning with executives and stakeholders. So you can get a sense here as you're planning to roll over from Classic to Lightning that there is a lot that to be considered here. This is a download pack for presentation templates to sell the virtues of Salesforce Lightning. Now the next phase, the rollout phase of actually doing the work of converting from Classic to Lightning has several different steps as well. First of which is preparing your users for Lightning experience. And second is to implement Lightning Experience features. And so some of the options here, and the intention behind this would be to kind of ease your users into Lightning Experience if they're used to display records the way they are in Salesforce Classic. You can display those same record pages in the Classic-like full view rather than the newer grouped view inside of Salesforce Lightning. It gives you an option there. And there's other places you can set the grouped or full view beyond just the transition assistant here. And then as well, a lot of other settings around paths, notes, news, etc. And then adjusting existing customizations. There's a lot here as far as preparing different pieces of your apps and your org in general for Lightning, one of which would be preparing Visual Force pages for Lightning experience. And then some of the other legacy things that you'll need to do is convert attachments and classic notes into the newer notes and attachments. There's a magic mover for notes and attachments app to help you with that. And so you'll find a lot of helpful resources here in general. And then finally, this final step here is to launch Lightning Experience. And then you can also turn off Lightning Experience. It's on right here. Third and final phase would be the optimize phase. And here's where you can do things such as turning off Salesforce Classic in your org. I've done that here. And when you turn off Salesforce Classic in your org, that does turn off the ability to switch back to Classic. So there's no going back from that, by the way. So other things are measuring your success metrics as far as tracking Lightning Experience usage and adoption. And then some links here or steps around motivating your users to work in Lightning. You can do things such as set up a feedback form to capture information from users whenever they switch back to Classic to find out why they're doing that and you can customize the welcome mat for Lightning Experience where they first see and a lot more here. So that is the Lightning Experience Transition Assistant. Many orgs have already gone through this process, but I wanted to make you aware of those steps and then as well that in the final piece of this would be turning off Salesforce Classic in your org and that's just a toggle that you turn on and then this will show us checked here. So if you found this Salesforce video helpful, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce and I just might make it my next video.